Hey guys, there's truly Kevin Grace. I'm on the corner of Revolution Street and Old Bay Lane. It takes you right down to where the old Heavy Grace racetrack was. But behind me is a uh, historic marker talking about the racetrack. It mentions that it was one of four one mile thoroughbred tracks here in Maryland. The other three were Pimlico Racecourse in Baltimore, Bowie Racecourse in Bowie, and Laurel Park in Laurel. It was this racetrack was in operation between 1912 to 1950. And you had horses like Man of War in 1920, they said he set the uh, track record. And then uh, a horse like Citation, who was en route to the Hall of, uh, to the Triple Crown, lost one race and it was here against a local horse named Saggy. But you had other horses such as Sea Biscuit, Whirl Away, War Admiral that raced here. Nowadays, it's a um, armory for the Maryland National Guards and they're fixing their different trucks and everything else. About 20 years ago, I was able to get to the area and you could see the grandstand pretty good. Right now, they've built up and there's some other businesses, uh, industrial parks, and you can't really see inside that well. But uh, if you ever fly aerial over top of the track, you can still see the outline of where the the track was, and it's right near the Susquehanna River. But I'm going to show you some pictures of what it used to look like in this vlog. Yeah, about 20 years ago, I was I had some pictures of the uh, kind of the grandstand, but I think since that time they've been knocking stuff down. But yeah, this was the old racetrack right here. Like I said, this place closed in 1950 and um, the dates were sold to Pimlico and, and uh, Laurel Racecourses. It fell out of favor and uh, they wound up selling their dates. But anyway, I'll try to show you some pictures of what it used to look like back in the day. Just an armory, you can't get on there because it's private property. But uh, I had some nice pictures back in the day that I had taken. You could see the uh, infield. And you can still actually, if you're in a plane, which I was a few weeks ago, flew over it and you can still see the outline of the race course here. As you can see, this is the railroad crossing. This is where horses were brought to the racetrack here at Haverty Gray. So they would come right down here and uh, the racetrack was right over there. So a little farther down was the area where they could uh, disembark. But as you can see, it goes all the way up, probably Delaware, Pennsylvania area. So this was the old track and it's still in use, but uh, as you can see, the, as I mentioned, the racetrack now is an armory. So there's a lot of different vehicles being serviced. Hey guys, yours truly, Kevin Grace. I'm here in Havity Grace, Maryland. Cavity Grace is located north of Baltimore, and it's right before you get to the Delaware border. There used to be a famous racetrack here that operated from August the 24th, 1912 through 1950. It was called Havity Grace. The nickname was called The Draw. And I want to show you these two really cool murals that depict some of the famous horses that ran here. A couple Triple Crown winners and uh, a couple of notables such as Man of War, Seabiscuit, Triple Crown winners such as Sir Barton, Citation, and um, War Admiral. Matter of fact, War Admiral, his first uh, victory was at Havity Grace Racetrack. But 
I want to show you these two cool murals. This one right here is depicting Citation winning the Chesapeake Stakes um, in 1948. You see the little wind photo here. Typically, Eddie R. Carroll was the jockey of that horse, and I'm not sure if he was race he was riding him at that time for this race. But if so, that's Eddie R. Carroll <laughs> in the winner's circle, and that Citation hitting the finish line. You see different folks in the background there fans and then you can see the uh train in the back of course that's how they were transported here to the racetrack it says uh story of citation at the draw this other one here is called dream race at the draw so of course the draw is the nickname of the Havity, Havity grace racetrack these are some notables that ran here all except for one and I'll show you that in, uh, in a second. This, of course, is the great man of war who ran here in 1920. Then you have Citation who ran here in 1948. And then in the black, you have War Admiral who won his first race. Uh, it happened to be at Havity Grace. And then you have uh, uh, Sir Barton and he wound up losing a race here and then you have this filly which who never ran here she's named Haverty Grace she ran uh, a f several years ago but of course this racetrack was closed in 1950 but they just threw her up there because she has the same name as the town and of course you have Sir um, Seabiscuit and you have um, Exterminator followed by another Triple Crown winner, Whirl Away, raced here as well. So this is just like a dream match if it ever happened. So uh, this was just a mural that was made a, a few years ago. So wanted to show you that. And of course, you see the one with Citation is nice as well. I want to show you this really cool mural. Back in 1938, the great Seabiscuit raced that Cavity Grace Racetrack. That's a year before the match race between he and War Admiral happened at Pimlico Race Course, the Pimlico Special. But uh, as you can see, it's depicted right here in this mural. So this is nice. And they have some pictures of some brothers named the Mergler brothers that were jockeys. So I may have to look them up and see how successful they were. Hey guys, yours truly. I am here in Union Field Cemetery here in New York in the Brooklyn, Queens area. I'm here to pay my respects to Arnold Rothstein. Of course, some folks now know his name from uh, the portrayal on Boardwalk Empire, which was a cable show. But uh, Arnold, very colorful character in history. He was the mentor to a lot of mobsters, such as Meyer Lansky, Legs Diamond, um, Dutch Schultz, Lucky Luciano, and the list goes on. He uh, he was really good with numbers. He invested um, in a lot of different businesses, brothels, casinos. Uh, he also owned, owned part of Heavy Race Grace Racetrack as well, which is in Maryland. And uh, he wound up being shot uh, November the 4th, 1928, and he would not give up who the person that shot him was and um, he wound up dying two days later he also was connected to the Black Sox scandal which was um, when uh, the Black Sox baseball team supposedly threw the World Series but Arnold he was a, a big gambler and also like I said he was a loan sharker and um, and uh, he would pay off a lot of 
judges, politicians, different people. So he had his hands in a lot of things. But anyway, he's buried right here. It's very bright to see, but uh, on the front of his this big headstone here, it's some words in Hebrew. And then he's got uh, the family name down here, Rothstein. And on the back has got his name, Arnold Rothstein. This is supposed to be section 52, but I had no idea because it's not marked out, uh, laid out pretty well. But I happened to see that there were a family of Rothsteins here and I came to investigate. And sure enough, this is Arnold's headstone here. It says that he was born January the 17th, 1882, and he departed November the 6th, 1928. It says, may his, re may his soul rest in peace. And I wound up putting a stone on the top of his top of his marker there. That's a Jewish tradition to let people know that you came to visit. But he's buried right here. And I'll show you the rest of the Rothstein family. So if you do come, you'll know what to look for.